Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Luke chapter 8, where Luke wrote about Jesus teaching parables to the people, about Jesus calming a storm, and about Jesus doing miracles and raising someone from the dead. Jesus taught the crowd using parables. He told his disciples why. He wanted the crowds to hear what he had to say, but not understand to see but not perceive. Jesus taught, a sower went out to sow his seed. Some fell beside the road and the seed was trampled and eaten by birds. Other seed fell on rocky soil and as soon as it grew up, it withered away. Other seed fell into the thorns. It sprouted, but the thorns choked it out. And other seed fell into good soil. That seed grew and produced a crop 100 times as great. When Jesus' disciples asked him what that meant, he said, You have been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to most people it is hidden from them. The seed is the word of God. Those beside the road are those who have heard that the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart so that they will not believe and be saved. Those on the rocky soil are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, but they have no firm root. They believe for a little while, but fall away when temptation comes. The seed that fell among the thorns, these are the ones who have heard, and as they go, they are choked with worries, riches, and pleasures of life and they bring no fruit to maturity. But the seed in the good soil, these are the ones who have heard the word in a good and honest heart and hold it fast, and they bear fruit with perseverance. One day, Jesus told his disciples that he wanted to go to the other side of the Lake of Galilee. He had business to attend to there. So they loaded up the boat and they sailed away. On the way, Jesus fell asleep. A fierce storm popped up over the lake and the boat began to get swamped with water. The disciples came to Jesus and woke him and said, Master, we are perishing. Jesus got up and rebuked the wind and the waves and they immediately stopped and it became calm. Jesus smiled and asked the disciples, Where is your faith? Didn't I say I wanted to go to the other side? The disciples looked at each other in shocked amazement and asked themselves, Who is this man? He commands the wind and the waves, and they obey him. They sailed to the shore and got out of the boat. Immediately, a demon-possessed man ran up to the boat and screamed at Jesus and said, What business do we have with each other, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, don't torment me before the set time. Now the demons who were inside the man caused him to run around naked and live in the cemetery. Many times, the man was chained by people who caught him, but he would break the chains each and every time. Jesus asked the entity inside the man, what is your name? The demon replied, my name is Legion, for we are many. The demons knew what was about to happen, but this time they implored Jesus not to command them to go to the abyss. They saw a herd of swine feeding on the mountain and the demons begged Jesus to allow them to go into the pigs instead of the abyss. Jesus gave them permission. As soon as he did, the demons came out of the man and entered the swine. The herd rushed down the steep bank and drowned in the lake. The herdsmen who were keeping the pigs saw this and ran into the city. The people went to see what had happened. They saw the man who was normally demon-possessed in his right mind.
they saw the pigs floating in the water and they were terrified. All the people then asked Jesus to leave their country. So Jesus started back. The man from whom the demons had gone out was begging Jesus. He wanted to follow him. But Jesus told the man, no, go back to your house and describe what great things God has done for you. So he obeyed. When Jesus sailed back across the lake, many people were waiting for him. One man named Jairus in particular was most desperate. He said, Jesus, my little daughter is dying. Please help her. Jesus agreed and started to his home. While he was walking, a woman who could not be healed by anyone from her bleeding came up to him and touched his coat. Immediately the bleeding stopped. Jesus said, who touched me? Peter said, Master, there are many people crowding around you and touching you. Jesus said, No, I felt power go out from me. The woman confessed and said it was her. She told Jesus her story and said she could now tell that she was healed. Jesus smiled and said, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While Jesus was speaking, someone from the house of Jairus came up to him and said, Don't bother the teacher any longer. Your daughter has died. Jesus heard this and said, Don't be afraid. Only believe. She will be made well. Jesus got to the house and heard everyone wailing and crying. Jesus spoke up and said, Stop crying, everyone. She has not died. She is only sleeping. They all laughed him to scorn. They knew she died. Jesus then took Peter, James, John, and the girl's parents with him into the room where the girl was lying. Jesus took the little girl by the hand and said, Child, arise. And her spirit returned and she got up from the bed. Jesus told her shocked parents, Don't tell anyone what just happened. The most important verses in this chapter are Luke 8, 22 through 25, which state, Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into the ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth, but as they sailed he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying to one another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and the water, and they obey him. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that Jesus can do many miracles, can raise people from the dead, has authority and power over stormy weather and water, and can heal anyone of any disease. And God wants us to see that the demons know who Jesus is and they are terrified of him. Apparently Jesus has the authority to send demons to the abyss imprisoned there until Judgment Day, and the demons recognized his authority. Perhaps you have some medical issues or are going through some storm in your life right now. Have you ever asked Jesus to help? Now that you know that he can help, why don't you ask him if he will help? One storm that he will help us through, if we ask, is the certain and imminent storm of death. Why don't you ask Jesus to bring you safely through that storm if you haven't done so already? Why don't you turn from your sin right now and repent? Why don't you place your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation? Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. 
Jesus conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that, that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. And why don't you do that right now? Hey, thanks for watching the Luke chapter 8 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.